Cardinal King here once again, and today I am your guest instructor in showing you how to make custom models in Dream Booth for Stable Diffusion. So join us on this journey. Hey guys, since Clone of Auto asked us to very politely make a little tutorial on how we, we made our custom models in Dream Booth. I'm going to go ahead and explain to you guys the process from start to finish, and hopefully it'll be an easy way to do this. I'm going to put links to everything you need down here, so make sure to check those out. All right, guys, so the first thing we are going to need to do is we're going to have to set up a couple of pictures of whoever you want to model. Um, you want to get a lot of different angles on them with different lightings and different backgrounds, but most importantly, you kind of want to have these angles, right? When we first tried to do this without having these last angles, which thank you very much, Clone of Auto, for sending us these, um, it didn't really come out. So I, I have a lot of photos of, of him, right? But it just for whatever reason it didn't happen until I got these last ones. That's when it really gave me a really good, accurate render. But what we're going to want to do once we have our photos all collected, we can go into Photoshop and we are going to make a canvas sized image that is 512 by 512. And we're going to put each different photo in a layer. We're going to size them however we want. In general, we kind of want a couple of photos from the torso up, and then we want a couple that are just close ups of the face, right? And different angles, different lighting, different expressions. Like I have a ton of him smiling, but then there's a little sad one, right? So once we've got everything we think we're going to need, we're going to go to image or we're going to go to edit. It's not edit. It's file, export, and then layers to file. And that will give you this, right? So once we have this, we are going to go to hug and face and we are going to make a account here. Once you do, you're going to go to this link, which I'll have down below, again, like I said, and you're gonna join this project. It'll have a little prompt over here to join. I've already joined, so I can't really show you that, right? Then once you have that, you're gonna go to, and it takes a second for you to join the project, by the way. But uh, once you have that, you're gonna go here into your settings and your tokens, and you're gonna copy your access token. Don't ever show this to anybody, right? So you'll copy the token. Then you'll go into this uh, Google Colab sheet and you're just going to run down all of these at once, right? So you on each one of these, there's a little play button and you play it. And then when it's done, it'll have a little green check mark here. So you're going to play this one first. Then you're going to play this one right here, which will just ask you for that token that you just copied and pasted. So you're just going to control V that into the the place where it asks you to put in the cup, uh, the token. You're going to run this guy. And then you're going to run this guy, but whatever you want to name your thing, don't name it SKS. Like, say here, we would do... I wanted to do Clone of Auto, but just for simplicity, because there might be something out there that is a clone of Auto, you always kind of want to name it something that isn't something else. So I just went with abbreviations. So we did... CO001. Um, and then if your person or your thing or whatever has a gender or if it has any sort of categorization, like let's say you have a really cool watermelon that you want to have in there, you would just put in watermelon so it trains it against other images of watermelons, right? But um, for now, we're just going to do man. So we want this guy to be CO01. Input, I want this guy to be CO1 output. Okay, so once you run this guy, it'll ask you to connect to your um, Google Drive. And you want to have your Google Drive almost empty because the files it's going to spit out to it are really big. It's going to be like 8 gigabytes. So you want a, an empty Google Drive. You might want to start a new Google account just to do this thing. So here, you press here, it'll show you a little thing to upload, and this is where we're going to upload the images we made in the previous step. 
Okay, and then right here where we do the start the training. So when we prompt something, this is what we're gonna wanna prompt, right? So I always do here just the thing, the, the name that we used previously, so CO101. And then the category, right? So man. And here where it says learning rate, we want the one E6. So this usually this is usually a five, but we want a one, right? And we want to do about 2,000 training steps. So when you get to this point and you run this guy, it, this one's going to take like half an hour. So go ahead and go do something else. So make sure your computer doesn't go to sleep because it could mess up the process. So once the half hour of this passes and you're done making your model, you're going to go here, download the script, and... This is just to make a conversion to CKPT so we can use it in our standard or our stable diffusion. So once this guy's done, you run this guy and that'll that'll convert it inside of your uh, Google Drive. And once you go into your drive, you want to follow this this um, path to grab your CKPT file. now so this is the ckpt file we did for auto right so i use um stable diffusion ui and like i said before there'll be a link down below so what we want to do once we have the ckpt file is we want to go into here we go into stable diffusion and there's going to be a custom model CKPT. So what we would do, we would copy this file over, delete this one, and then rename it custom model. And that when we put into our stable diffusion UI here, we're going to have an option to either use the regular model or the custom model. So you want to do custom model, then you want to put in your, your prompt. Um, we did and it's going to be the same as last time. So it's going to be CO001 man uh, doing a back flip at Burning Man. And then you would just run that and get images of, of Clone of Auto. Um, I'm going to show you guys a couple of the example ones that we got before which I think he was pretty psyched to see, but uh, they do look a lot like him. So here's the first one, the second one, third one. This one looks a ton like him, which is an uncanny, right? But yeah, guys, that is the video. Let me know what you thought. And if you found it helpful, give it a like, give it a comment, subscribe, do all the goofy stuff that YouTubers ask you to do. Uh, if you want to support the channel, you can buy some prints of my other AI art with the link here. This has been the Cardinal King. Out.